The Radio Waymo Breakfast. The Academy Cinema's Pick of the Week with John Henderson. When I came to this land, it was covered in gorse and small tea tree. It had cows on one property, which I bought just going back to bush. And now the whole property has been zoned natural protected area, which basically means you pay the rates, but you can't use your land. The film we're looking at is called Gordonia. Screening at the Academy Cinema in Auckland. John Henderson has seen it. G'day, John. Morning, Whammo. <clears throat> My goodness, what a crazy and an amazing movie this is. The local film, as you say, called Cordonia, which was at the International Film Festival in the local section just the other month, and it's nice to see it's managed to come back again. Yeah, because I, I, I miss this, so I'm quite keen to know what really what it's about. How it, what makes it tick. Yeah. Well, this was, this was filmed and shot over seven years by local guy Tom Riley about uh, a good keen bloke by the name of Graham Gordon, who you heard on the, the trailer. He's, he's basically a self-styled, alternative-living eco-warrior. And I think he has slipped under the radar for those of us not familiar with the Wild West. Yeah. Um, that's West Auckland. Yeah. He's been living in his own valley out there in the middle of um, the Waitakere rainforest right. most of his life. It's a big spread, 50-odd acres out there. His dad bought the valley when there was nothing around but possum traps and mm-hmm. logs. Lucky man, it's beautiful out there. It is beautiful out there. I can only imagine how beautiful it must have been 60 years ago when, when they first moved there. Mm. Obviously, um, I guess there's been a lot of urban development going on in, in the interim. Yeah. And this movie, this movie is brilliant because when the Gordons arrived in the valley, they established a European car parts business. Okay. Now, this business boasted spares and second-hand car parts for hundreds of different... Uh, vehicles that were imported from the UK after the war, yeah. before the rise of the Japanese import. So if you needed a wiper blade for the old Maxi, or a hubcap for the, the Wolseley, yeah. Gordon's European Spears was the place to go if you could find it. Right. <laughs> it was stuck out there in this valley. Now you'd think that the logistics of storing all these bits in the rural y might be quite impressive, but it was a lot simpler than that. Uh, what the local towies would do is if there was an old wreck an Austin or a Bentley, two mm. to go to the dump. Mm. They'd just uh, dump it on Graham's property under the cover of darkness. Ah, uh, okay. So there's some brilliant opening scenes in this film. Panoramic views of this lush, verdantly green, Waitakere Valley and hundreds of rusting old car wrecks. So I'm, I'm not <laughs> sure at this point whether I'm going to like Graham or not. <laughs> well, he, he's a harmless enough guy and... At the start of the movie, there's this other old boy that comes out literally looking for a wiper blade for his mini. <laughs> Graham's going, yeah, there's one over here under the yeah, under the tea tree. Yeah, here you go. You need two. <laughs> yeah. No, I've only got one. Yeah. No, there's one here. No, you'll be right. No, 50 cents. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, he's, he's, he's a harmless enough dude. I mean, we're talking 50 acres here. So there's plenty of space for old car wrecks and verdant rainforest. Yeah. Now, he is a collector of not only car wrecks, He's a very generous natured sort of a guy, and he's collected his uh, share of the homeless and disaffected over the years as well. Oh. They live out in this valley in equitable harmony and old house trucks and rough shacks. I mean, so this is like a little community, which I guess is where they got this name Gordonia from. Yeah. Because he owns this valley. But I'd imagine is- all these shacks and whatnot, they're not strictly legal. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, that, and you're actually starting to get your finger on the pulse of where this film goes mm. because the film is about his ongoing legal battles with the local council out there. And I was watching it, I was thinking, oh my God, he's had so much trouble to date. You know, his view being, <clears throat> I own this valley, my dad owned this valley, the council won't let us do this, the council won't let us do that. Mm. We tried to plant a macadamia orchard, they said we couldn't do this. Um, this film has been shot over seven years, so over the seven-year period you see the council crack down on his car wrecks. Mm. First they tell him he has to put them under cover. The next thing you know, the next year after he's done that, and it was quite a logistic feat because there were hundreds of these things, he's sort of um, put them under rudimentary tin sheds, etc. cetera. Mm. Um, every good keen bloke's dream. You know, one shed, no, he's got about 50 out there. Yeah, of course. <clears throat> uh, council, uh, council goes, no, nah, forget it. Um, you're going to have to get rid of the wrecks altogether. And while you're at it, you're going to have to get rid of all those people that are freeloading out there. You're charging them 10 bucks a week. That's illegal. So the council's, the council's coming down hard on him. Now, I'm a little bit puzzled because at the beginning of the trailer, there's a quote from uh, Mayor Bob Harvey, who's the current mayor um, out there in, in Waitakere, and, it's, and he says, a breathtaking and heartfelt account of humanity at its raw and confronting best. 
So it sounds like he sympathises with Bob Graham. Bob comes on board at the end. Right. Uh, is that... Bob, Bob has basically had a guts fall by the end of the film with uh, all his two ICs and flunkies going out there and laying down the, laying down the law and, and opening a cannon with us on Graham. Okay. And Graham's been taken to court numerable times. He's about to go to jail near Bob Stepson and says, look, <clears throat> why don't you and I just sit down and see if we can sort something out? Mm. I think I remember uh, seeing that in the news, yeah. I, I mean, I, I was just thinking, my God, how is, how is Graham going to cope in the Super City? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he'll, be just, yeah. he'll be destroyed. Yeah, very good point. Well, um, it's obviously um, well worth uh, seeing a um, uh, and seeing the whole tale unfold. What would you give it out of five? Oh, it's the best documentary I think I've ever seen. I mean, it's certainly the most local. Gosh, I've been out to the Waitakere tramping so many times. Yeah. I didn't even know this place existed. It's yeah. great. It's five. Five out of five for me. Five Fantastic. out of five. Will you be visiting Gordonia? I'm going to try and find it, but I'm still not sure I, I need to go. I think you have to turn left at the Titirangi, um coffee shop or something. No. <laughs> hey, thanks very much, John. Cheers, Wayne. Well, Cheers. <laughs> Where will you go? Oh, your place. <laughs> I'll live with you. How's that? Ah, oh, Ron, you would bring a smile to your face. <laughs>